Well, good day, everyone. May the peace of Christ be with you today and this entire week. On this feast of St. Bartholomew the Apostle, we find ourselves in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 45 through 51. This Gospel begins with Philip finding Nathanael and telling him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, the one the prophets also wrote about, Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Now, Nathanael's response sounds a bit prejudiced. He says to Philip, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Apparently, Nazareth didn't have a good reputation back in the day. Anyway, Philip persisted, and he said to Nathanael, Come and see. So they left to find Jesus. When Jesus saw them approaching, he said, Here is a true child of Israel. He has no guile or duplicity in him. Nathanael replies to Jesus saying, How do you know me? And Jesus told him that he had seen him under a fig tree. And Nathanael was astounded at Jesus' insight. Well, then Nathanael made his profession of faith. Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. So Jesus asked him a question. Do you believe this simply because I told you I saw you under a fig tree? Truly, you will see much greater things, Nathanael. You will witness the heavens being opened, and you will see angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Now, there are several other instances in the Bible where someone sees heaven open, like Ezekiel 1, 1, Mark 1, 10, Acts 7, 56. In each of these instances, the person has had a vision that accords some greater divine reality. And at present in our reading today, Nathanael understands Jesus' messianic purpose in a very political way. So when Jesus tells Nathanael he will see the angels of God ascending and descending, he's making a connection to the Old Testament, which Nathanael would have understood, particularly Genesis 28, where Jacob gets a view of this new reality, a vision of a greater divinity. Then, by changing the name Nathanael gave him, the king of Israel, to the son of God, Jesus is giving the indication that Nathanael will come to understand Jesus as the Messiah in a very, very different way. All of us have been created as child, children of God, and Jesus recognizes each one of us individually as his brother and sister, and he knows, too, that we've all been called in this life to see much greater things and to be awakened by a new reality, to understand Jesus as our true Messiah. He knows that there are many temptations and commitments in our lives that may invite us to stray from the path of following Him. But it's us who need to make our hearts as pure as Nathaniel's, so that when Jesus does approach us, wherever we are, wherever we stand in this life, that we understand Him as the Messiah, that we trust Him, and that we follow his call. In doing so, he's going to mold a new reality for our lives, and we too will see the heavens being opened, and we'll see angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. St. Bartholomew the Apostle, pray for us, and may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.